Well, happy Friday. Thanks for joining us here on Valley News Live at 10 o'clock. I want to talk about uh, radar estimated precipitation. This is from those showers that moved through the Devil's Lake Basin earlier today. Those yellows you see there indicate one to one and a half inches of rain have fallen. At least the radar has estimated that to have fallen in the, those areas. So it's a much needed rainfall for those folks. They're in the severe to exceptional drought in those parts of North Dakota. Elsewhere, those blues are anywhere from, say, a quarter to a half inch in areas in the northern valley with a half inch to one inch in those green shaded areas. So some good moisture coming through with these showers. Now moving into portions of northern Minnesota, we'll see up toward Lake of the Woods County, Beltrami County, some yellows there indicating some more organized rainfall at this time, as well as a shower right now in Thief River Falls and down into uh, Red Lake County as well. Then through the Fargo-Moorhead area, seeing those showers just outside of town. So mo much of Cass County seeing some rainfall at this time out toward Tower City, through Barnes County, and then in the portions of Lamore uh, County seeing some showers still at this time. These are moving slowly, but I do expect them to continue wandering their way into Minnesota through the overnight. These temperatures, rain cooled air, a low 60s for quite a few folks up in the Northern Valley, 60 in Bedette, one of the cool spots, still lower 70s in Lakes Country where that rain has not quite gotten to just yet. But here's the hour by hour. Notice there's those rain showers from say Fargo up toward uh, Bemidji and you can see those just kind of hang out right there and keep uh, the rain falling there across Lakes Country and in toward Beltrami County. By 7.30 a.m. could be some patchy dense fog in the Northern Valley and the portions of the Devil's Lake Basin where that rain fell uh, a lot today. So watch out for that if you were planning on heading out in about early 50s to 60s for those low temperatures tomorrow morning. Then into the afternoon, some of those showers could still be lingering across Minnesota and mainly south of I-94 across North Dakota. Notice some sunshine moving in from the north. Temperatures by lunchtime, 70s to some 60s off toward the south. With some, some sunshine there and some humidity, we could see some showers or storms popping up in the afternoon hours after about 3 o'clock. And uh, that's about all we got to contend with, just some hit or miss showers or storms. And with the sunshine, temperatures warming up to near 80 for most everybody. And I also expect by, say, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, after the sun sets, we'll start to see those showers and storms fizzling out. But for Sunday, I expect more dry time for us on Sunday than we may see on Saturday. With highs on Sunday, again, near 80. Uh, for tomorrow, uh, I'm on a backtrack. For tomorrow, a little bit cooler in lakes country, so keep that in mind if we're heading out to those lakes. But then for the rest of the week, we are staying dry with those highs in the 80s each day next week with maybe a few spotty storms on Monday. If they're scattered and spotty, I'd like them overnight if you'd like to. <laughs> yeah, hey, please. I'll, yeah, I'll put a request in. Last minute request. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Up next.